And the Saints have taken the early lead. And it's good as the Saints have a 7-0 lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This will be taken very short. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. the first carry here for Jamal Charles. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And certainly a key cog in this offensive wheel is Jeremy Macklin. You've just got to find ways to get him the ball, whether you put him in the slot or put him out on the perimeter. Smith now on second down. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And now we switch things over. New Orleans takes possession of the football. A team coming off a 7-9 season. Actually, it's the first franchise in NFL history to go 7-9 three straight years. Hard to believe because when you think about the New Orleans Saints, you think about it. And this is caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Brandon Cooks, 31 yards. And the Saints add on to their lead. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Short boot, take it at the 21. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Yeah, coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. And here now, New Orleans defensive unit. Cameron Jordan is now one of those versatile defensive linemen as you can play all up and down the front. Whether he's playing tackle or end, he knows how to make plays. Second down, Jamal Charles. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Throwing on third down, Smith. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. <laughs> so the offense has it first and 10. Marie's now on first down. That's complete right around the eight. Inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run here with Ingram. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. 
Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. So third and goal, the defense in the dime. Can still bring pressure. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And out come the Chiefs now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. On attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. One receiver left, three to the right. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He juked him, shreds the tackle. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. From the gut on third down, Smith is going to find his running back. It's complete. It's a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down. Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Here we go with Charles. And he is going to lose yardage here. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Breeze now to throw. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys did not play offense. And a double cut. 